and Carol's Landing, which is also the site of the Manchester docks back in the 17th, 18th, uh, and 19th century. This was part of the James River Superhighway. Uh, one of the things that it's almost impossible for us to imagine right now because we see the river as a resource uh, for understanding the environment and the, the natural world and recreational use is that it literally was the Interstate 95. Um, of the day. In the 19th century, what we tend to talk about, of course, is introducing people to the, um, the slave trade, to Richmond's history uh, in, in its involvement in the slave trade and the role that the Manchester docks, as well as Rockets Landing, which is right across the river from us, and what that played uh, in that trade. Um, now that's to talk specifically about Richmond, but understanding that the trade is going on everywhere. And before Richmond is a big town, which kind of takes a while. Uh, Richmond has 5,700 people in it in about 1,800. So ultimately it becomes the second largest market for enslaved people to be traded for sale to markets in the deep south. People were moved on foot as well, because there are roadways that connect Richmond to, and Virginia to points south. And one of the main roads was the, um, what we know as the Fall Line Road, and it went from Fredericksburg through Richmond and ended up in Mobile, Alabama. So it's about a thousand miles uh, of that trip. So people are going by foot, people are being taken by boat, and people are um, also later on uh, being transported by rail. It's huge. Um, it becomes such a big part of Virginia's economy that they can't fathom changing it. Oh, my God.